sort of new discoveries slash quandaries, I guess, with GA4 is what to do with Google Signals. What Google Signals does, let's say you're signed in on your Google account on your desktop and your Google account on your phone. Google knows that. And then they know you're visiting a site with Google Analytics. And so they know who you are. And so they can connect all of your sessions together under one user. And that's a big purported benefit of GA4 is like better user level tracking and being able to, you know, base things like conversion rate on users now more than just sessions and things that, you know, U UA was more from that angle. The challenge though, has been that when you use Google signals, which we've been turning on by default, like in our process and documentation for clients, it applies thresholding to reports. So if there weren't, let's say that many tablet users that converted, right? And you were looking at a conversions report, it may not show the tablet row because the whole point is they don't want you to be able to identify that user individually. That's kind of the bar that they're trying to meet. So what that means is you don't have a view necessarily of all your data in the GA4 interface, which kind of sucks, right? And so, you know, the debate is like, well, do we keep turning it on? Because it does add a lot of value, but it also like takes away value. And, we, and we've always known this to be the case. GA4, Google signals, those users like that data is never exported to BigQuery. That is Google's data. That is not your data. So even if you have it turned on in GA4, Google signals, like your numbers are going to be different in BigQuery. You couldn't turn it off, but what's unclear is it doesn't get rid of it from the past. Basically what I've read is once you've turned it on, you've turned it on, you've gotten the, the negative effect or whatever you're going to have. Not sure if that's a hundred percent true, or if you do turn it off, you can continue to have like relatively good data, but it is for sure that BigQuery doesn't get the Google signals data. The thought is you kind of have the best of both worlds. Like you can look at it and see what you can see in the UA interface with Google signals still turned on, but you can also look at it if you just, you know, report out a BigQuery into like, let's say data studio or whatever, then you can see sort of like the raw numbers without Google signals applied. Of course, then the quandary or the question becomes, what is the source of truth? What do we report on? <laughs> like, you know, as an organic team, what's the paid team going to report on? But anyway, those are just some of the latest shenanigans that we've run into.